What's going on friends? Hey, guess what? You're back and today we have a review for you, but <laughs> a little precursor to the review my um, Studio as thesis would say is in shambles so I mean, it's really bad. I'm like stepping around stuff and dropping stuff and anyway just wanted to let you guys know that so that you guys know I'm in the middle of some stuff, but uh, Ample Vape wanted to get their review out. So I took on this Mace RDA. It's really hard to hold the camera. I don't know how Casey Neistat does this. But uh, anyway, so we're going to be talking about the Mace today. It's an RDA by Ample Vape. Amp, 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 Ample Vape. My name's Stan, and you have found the Tenacious TX Vapes channel. <laughs> Here we are down with the Ample Vape. Ample, Ample, Mace RDA. And I'm gonna open this one up to show you guys. I just scratched the box, oops. All right, it says amplevape.com, Mace RDA, Mace RDA, Stan scratches boxes, Ample. Scratch and authenticate. It says parameter size 24 to 25 and a half by 33 millimeters. Material stainless steel. This kit contains the Mace RDA and a spare parts poly bag. Shenzhen Amplevate technology. It says it comes in silver, black, and gold, but I've never seen the black one. I've only seen the silver and the gold. Inside the box. Boom. Ooh. Ooh, man. Maybe I should open that one. No, I like the stainless one. Come out of the box. Come out of the box. Inside the box, you get two extra screws, a solid pin, extra O-rings, and little blue screwdriver. Everybody knows little blue screwdriver. Put that back. It says Mace, and actually I really like the logo. It's just really clean and simple. All the way around, there's nothing else, just black. You can turn, oh, it's stiff. Oh, it's stiff. All right, both sides. Oh, it does have a single coil option. Also, the top hat drip tip. On the bottom of the RDA, it says Mace BF, and I'll be damned. That's the only place that that says BF, bottom feeder. It comes with the uh, squonk pin installed. I tried it with squonking for like two days. It's a good squonker, it works, but I liked it dripping better. And it has amplevape.com on the bottom. Negative post, symbols. I actually really like this design. I mean, you can tell what this RDA is across the room. You know, it's cool looking. I don't really like this 810 drip tip that, ugh, come off. It's in there tight, man. There we go. Look at that thing. I mean, I guess it's there to protect your lips, but uh, I just like a regular old 810 in there. Those O-rings are tight when they're new, man. There we go. Check it out. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Got some big honking screws. These posts are threaded all the way down inside the post. I don't know if you can see that or not. There you go, you kinda can see it inside there. So it really keeps the, the screw in line. The screws are massive. I don't have my calipers right now. I can't find them in the move to this new studio area. So I can't tell you exactly how large these holes are, but they're huge. This is a 24 millimeter RDA. So you have lots of deck space in here. Again, I don't have my caliber, so I can't tell you exactly. And a pretty large juice well. So I'm really sorry I'm not as uh, prepared as normal for this guys, but just know there's a lot of space for some big coils on here and it'll fit some big old flat wire in there too. There's a wide open post hole. It is huge. I would say it's about 
three millimeters by three millimeters or four millimeters by four millimeters. It is huge. Yeah, probably three or four millimeters wide and high square. The squonking works nice, okay? These posts are very close together, very close together. Almost to where I would say a peak insulator should probably be in between them, but as long as you make sure that your screws are tight, which I will do right now. I don't know if you saw that, but it definitely needed a half turn. Oh, that one's good. So there she is in all her glory. Now I'm gonna show you what one that's been used for a while looks like. We're gonna put new cotton. I'm not gonna pull the build out, but I'm gonna pull cotton out of the one I'm using. And uh, yeah, I'll show you guys that. I put a different drip tip on there. Available on lucidrda.com. They're uh, doc style drip tips. And look, I wanna show you. That's how easy the O-rings are after they're juiced up and used. You saw how much trouble I had on the gold one. Definitely. They will not hold your mod up, okay? But here's the kicker. If you grab it from this one, this will hold your mod up. These O-rings, they don't get, they're not tight, but they're like perfect. And they will hold your mod up just fine. All right, I'm gonna go wash this out real quick and have nice clean coils when I come back. Here it is with the build on it. Got lots of space. These are some three millimeter, three and a half millimeter aliens by Yeti Wire, yetiwire.com. Check them out. Aliens. The only thing that's kind of crappy about building on this, it's super easy to build, except for you have to cut your leads before you put the coils in there or else you get something like that right there that is not touching anything. However, I can't clip it because it's too far like down in there. It's kind of a pain in the butt. It's not touching anything or anything like that. So I just left it there. Isn't she pretty? Let's put some cotton in her. try it out first time ever um, there it is there you have it the mace rda let's back out and talk about it Woo! and we're back up top with the mace rda from ample vape all right guys that casey nice that thing it wasn't working for me uh the the holding the can i i'm not as talented nor coordinated enough to be able to do all that and do all this at the same time so we're back on a tripod 
<laughs> and all you get to look at is this right now. Anyway, this RDA is really nice. The machining is nice. The, the size is nice. The clouds are nice. This is a 0.11 Alien on a parallel build so I can split the load between the batteries. It's hard to find cons for this thing, but I do have a couple, okay? A couple of the issues that I have with this RDA, I have with the drip tip. The drip tip, it comes with that top hat thing, no go for me. I don't like the top hat drip tip. It's just, I mean, I get what they were doing. They're trying to protect your lips from the top cap, but I, I really like these Vandy Vape dock style drip tips that I got on the website, lucidrda.com or tenaciousTXVapes.com. They're really cool, I like them a lot. They're short, they're uh, stout, and looks really good on this Mace RDA. This thing looks like a medieval weapon, I guess, hence the, hence the name uh, Mace. It's a mace, Urgh, I just can imagine Yoshi with one of my mods and this thing on top, like trying to beat me at night because he scares me. Anyway, the, the airflow is plentiful. There's plenty of airflow. It doesn't look like much, but it's a ton. I cut my airflow off. I don't know if you can see it. I cut my airflow off about halfway. That's about all I like. Pretty good for me. Now, however, it gets loud. It has like that on the edge of whistling thing happening when you have it wide open. On the edge of whistling. But $19 RDA, $19.99. I cut it off a little bit and that goes away, it's smooth as silk. Really smooth airflow when I cut it off like a quarter way to halfway. Um, it has the single coil option, which is awesome. The machining is fantastic on this thing. Uh, the other issue I had with this RDA is with the posts, okay? The positive and negative posts are really close together. When I first get an RDA, I clean it, I take it apart, and then I retighten all the screws because sometimes when you get an RDA from the factory, some of the screws are loose. So I always make sure that it goes back together really good. Well, when I put it back together, it was hard to get the positive post, or I'm sorry, the negative post lined up right because the notch that the negative post fits in for the screw underneath to, to go through and grab onto the post itself is so small that I'm gonna drop it. It actually allows the posts to be able to lean in there with the screw tight. So I had to basically stick a business, there's so little space between the positive and negative posts that I had to stick a business card between the posts as I tightened down the negative post to put it back in, okay? I tightened down the negative posts with the business card in there and then I tightened down the positive posts and I made sure that space was in there with the business card and I pulled the business card out and the space was fine. So that's really the only issue I'm gonna say, and you know what, that could be a short, if you're using a regulated mod, it's not really a big deal, your mod will tell you it's a short, whatever, um, but always use a regulated mod before throwing something onto a mechanical mod. The, tr the pin, the pin sticks out, man, it's a really nice pin, but as far as looks, good looks without that top hat drip tip. Um, flavor, flavor's okay. Flavor's not fantastic unless you cut off a lot of the airflow, in my opinion. You open up that airflow all the way and it is clouds bro clouds, not really much flavor, all right? But you close that airflow down halfway and the atomizer changes completely and there's a lot of flavor, it's good. It's taller than it has to be, a lot taller. It could be, it could be about three or four millimeters shorter, honestly, and uh, that would probably do a little better, but it's a wide open atomizer. This thing's a cloud chucker. I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> Pop my ears. As far as the build deck goes, those posts being close together is the only thing that kind of freaks me out. But I've been watching them a couple weeks now. I've made sure that they stayed tight and they stayed tight, they haven't moved. Uh, it's just something when you put the RDA back together you need to make sure of. And those screws, those screws are awesome. Big chunky screws. The posts um, that the screws thread into, they don't seem like they've widened out or gotten bigger or anything like that. Put a couple builds in here and I've been happy with this thing. Uh, you know, for $19.99, I think this thing is a win. I mean, how many, like seriously, really decent cloud chucking RDAs can you get for under 20 bucks? Brand new, like this one just came out on market, it's $19.99. That's a pretty good deal in my opinion. Uh, I, I don't mind it at all and I think it looks cool. Also, you can get it in gold, 
with the black, 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 black. Not only do they have the stainless with the black green for $19.99, you also get a choice between that or the gold with the black green for $19.99. And I'm giving away the gold one in this video right now. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, make sure you leave a comment and let me know what you think about this Mace RDA and if you think it's worth $19.99. You guys stay safe, you guys have a fantastic rest of your day, and remember... They bond, friends. Saves life.